Hi. Here I'm going to take you through an example of how to divide rational expressions. We have x squared minus 10x plus 16 divided by x squared minus 16 divided by x squared minus 9x plus 8 over x squared minus 5x plus 4. So first step, we want to factor all of the quadratics that you see here. We're going to take x squared minus 10x plus 16 and rewrite that as x minus 8 times x minus 2. Our second one, x squared minus 16, well that can be rewritten as x squared minus 4 squared, which means it's the difference of squares. It will factor to x plus 4 times x minus 4. Next up, we have x squared minus 9x plus 8. That'll factor to x minus 8 times x minus 1 over, last one to factor, x squared minus 5x plus 4, which factors to x minus 4 times x minus 1. The reason we factor is that we want to simplify anything we can. So we look at our first rational here, and there are no factors in both the top and bottom that match, so there's nothing we can do there. But in the second one, you notice we have the factor x minus 1 in both the top and bottom, which means we can simplify it or cancel it out. So for that, we just cross out the common ones. A warning, before you start crossing things out, remember you have to factor first because you can only simplify or cancel out common factors. That's why the first step we did was to factor everything. Now we're going to go ahead and deal with the division. Remember, for dividing either fractions or rational expressions like this, what we're going to want to do is flip the second one and then multiply. So our first rational is going to stay exactly the same. x minus 8 times x minus 2 over x plus 4 times x minus 4. Nothing changes. Now we're going to multiply the reciprocal of the second, which means we're going to take that second one and flip it so that it is x minus 4 over x minus 8. Now we multiply. And remember, for multiplying either rationals or expressions, it's sort of the easiest one of all the operations, because all we do is multiply the tops, multiply the bottoms. So here, what we can really do is just connect these guys up and realize that we're going to multiply the three factors in the top together and multiply the three factors in the bottom together, which gives us x minus 8 times x plus minus 2 times x minus 4 over x plus 4 times x minus 4 times x minus 8. It's just one long rational now. Just like we did above, we can start simplifying any factors that we see in both the top and bottom. You notice we have an x minus 8 here in the top and one in the bottom, so they can cancel out. We also have an x minus 4 here in the top and an x minus 4 here in the bottom. They can cancel out. So we are left with x minus 2 over x plus 4, which means the original problem we had, x squared minus 10x plus 16 over x squared minus 16 divided by x squared minus 9x plus 8 over x squared minus 5x plus 4, will simplify down to x minus 2 over x plus 4. That's it, your answer.